you've made it to Cairo Hustle Live. Sit back and learn from the greatest influencers in the profession. This episode is brought to you by Clothes for Cairo, Cairo Sushi, Barbara Eaton's 56 Day Chiropractic Boot Camp, California Jam, Move Well University, The Black Diamond Club, Pure Cairo Notes, The Cairo Dex App, Dr. Alok Trivedi, Cairo Spark, Cairo Graham, Chiropractic Wealth Management, Eight Weeks to Wellness, Integrative Freedom, and Element Mattresses. Let's hustle. Hey guys, Jim Chester here with the Cairo Hustle Podcast. This is a, a morning edition of the live stream. Um, this is a student edition as well. Um, I have Michael Reese with me today. How you doing, bro? Hey, how's it going? Great to be here. Hey, thank you for hosting me. Hey, it's it's going to be fun to share your story with everybody. I think that you're you're up there at a Northwestern Chiropractic College in Minnesota, so right. it's going to be a good opportunity for you to represent that school and to talk uh, talk the tick, um, what's going on with you, and then what's going on with the school and practice outside of practice, whatever it is, they teach you how to become successful and make more money and increase your bottom line. So Black Diamond Club is something that if you are considering it, reach out to Sean Dill or myself and I can help you out. But we're going to turn our attention now to uh, Michael Reese and uh, I'm going to ask him some cool questions about chiropractic. And uh, first one is, is Michael, why chiropractic? It's a great question. And, you know, I love what you're doing. So keep up the great work there. But uh, yeah, so why chiropractic? You know, I really stumbled. Biology at the University of Minnesota. And then after, you know, you get your degree, you're like, what now? <laughs> so fortunately for me, I took a tour at Northwestern Health Sciences University. And saw a little bit what they're doing and I had one experience with chiropractic beforehand. So I, you know, I had some injuries with soccer and hockey. And once I went to the chiropractor, I didn't have any of those issues anymore. And um, so I had a little bit of background, but didn't really know what chiropractic was. Once I took a tour, I saw that they were on the preventative side of health rather than the, you know, the, you know, um, the emergency route of like health. And I really like that aspect. And so really when I say I stumbled into chiropractic, I'm learning more and more each day about what chiropractic is and how amazing our bodies are and the ability to adapt to different stresses in our lives. Yeah, yeah, that's cool, man. It's, it's really interesting how you uh, had an idea that this is something that's going to be good for you. And, um, how has the education been so far? So education is, it's good. I feel like we have a lot of, uh, great professors and they're really passionate about what they do. Um, the, the one, there's two things that I don't think we're getting enough at, at school. One is the philosophy. We're not getting the foundation of why we're doing what we do. And then two is the business where we have one business class per trimester and you know the first half school it just really wasn't like anything that really pertained to what's gonna help us further on after we graduate and you know I feel like that's just a disservice to a students that we're not getting those two crucial crucial uh, foundations in chiropractic so what are you doing to prepare yourself I mean what are you doing to get yourself prepared for understanding the business better and understanding the philosophy better so right now I'm leading the AMP club at Northwestern. And again, our school doesn't allow any coaching groups, which AMP is uh, not necessarily a coaching group. It's a, it's a mastermind of people getting together, sharing different ideas. And um, so I'm leading that outside of school to inspire students to become clear, confident and inspired. Um, and, just trying to sh show some light onto what chiropractic could be for them. And um, so that's really helped me with uh, the business side. And then the philosophy side, we actually have a really strong group of people that are actually uh, go into philosophy club. And our philosophy club is led by Andy Hawkins. Shout out. Love brother. That. <laughs> love that. I love that dude. Yeah, he's awesome. And so, um, one of the things we start off with at every club in philosophy is with greater awareness, 
comes greater responsibility. And, you know, everything we learn in philosophy or chiropractic, you know, now we have a responsibility to show that, show that to other students and to the, our future community. Yeah, man, I love the idea that you're really uh, getting into the philosophy. And, you know, there's, there's, that's deep rooted because there's philosophy in life, but there's also the philosophy of chiropractic life. And yeah. let's talk a little bit about what you're learning with the philosophy and how that integrates into your personal life a little bit. So the, as far as philosophy, some people talk about chiropractic as the philosophy, the art, and the science. And I've heard two different analogies with that. One is, you know, it's like a stool. You have the, the, like a tripod. Um, and if you take one of those away, your stool is going to fall over, fall right? Over. Exactly. So, um, so w the better analogy I've actually heard is, I'm pretty sure this is from Dr. Matthew Alvord, is that philosophy, science, and art isn't a stool. It's more of an archer. So just visualize with me for a second. So philosophy is this archer. Is this um, person standing there? He's an archer. So he can stand as a philosophy without his bow and without his arrow. So then the bow would be the science and the art would be the arrow. Love so it. you can be, you can have a strong foundation in philosophy and stand in your truth and know that this is chiropractic. And then we get the, you know, the science and the, and the art, which is ever evolving, ever changing. That's so cool, man. I, I love that. I, and then when, when the archer set and has all, all three parts of them complete, then they can do the, they can do the work. And that, yeah, is, exactly. that, that is to be a skilled artist and to, to put all together, which I think is uh, super cool that you said it like that. Um, so you, you're an eighth try, and uh, now, you're, now you're starting to adjust people. Tell me a little bit about what that feels like and how that is uh, transitioning to becoming the DC. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a, it's a great question. And um, it's, it's a lot different than I, I expected. You know, you, you start off in school – being really like adamant about what you're doing you want to help people right so you start explaining chiropractic to your friends to your family to other students and of i feel course. like it's like a little easier family gets to be a little harder you know they, they just want the best for you but then there's a resistance there and then uh depending on what school you go to you get resistance as well so at northwestern we feel that you know the resistance is making us stronger and so we're going to keep pushing through whereas i feel like if we were at sherman or life it would be easier for us but um you know we like where, where we're at because we we feel like we're building up a resistance so um well that's cool i i think it's cool when you start to find your identity but you know the adjusting does it make you nervous uh it does make me nervous it's more of uh, it's actually helped that one, I started up a TRT torque release technique club at school last year. And that helped me along the ways of like explaining what I'm doing. Cause I have to, you know, understand it well enough for myself, but well enough so I can actually teach and help other people understand other students understand it. So that has been a huge help to like actually explain to um, a patient about what I'm doing and um, explain the nervous system and how that relates to chiropractic and what we're doing. And then two, I mean, amped your training and you, you train, you train, train on uh, systems and procedures and, you know, start to verbalizing chiropractic and going to screenings and, you know, get, just getting out there and talking to people. It's, it's really, you know, help myself transition from, okay, now you're in school for from eight to five and now you're, you know, stop talking to real people in your community. So, 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 for those of us that don't speak an acronym language, what is TRT and what does that mean? Yeah, so TRT is torque release technique. It was founded by um, Dr. Jay Holder. And um, so that's uh, just a specific technique. I don't know how much you want me to go into depth with it. Well, well I, I know it's a low force technique and there's no twisting, cracking or popping. So I'm going to fill in the blanks for you on that. And I know quite a bit about it that you guys do scans of the spine to find out where the nervous system is functioning properly, where the nervous system has some blockages. Then after care, you re-exam, you do another scan, you find out how the system is functioning properly now. And it's very, um, um, show and tell instead of a person just objectively telling you, hey, man, I feel great. 
and you're like, yeah, yeah, you look great too. So it's a, it's a really cool technique that is uh, effective and, and it's low force and it takes the pressure off the nervous system, allowing the body to, to flow properly the way it's supposed to. So exactly. that's how I would explain TRT. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And TRT is an analysis really. So um, it's an analysis to find where the primary subluxation is. And I'm sure you've heard of a primary subluxation, but um, mm -hmm. so it's analysis to find the primary subluxation. And then you can take care of that primary subluxation with whatever technique you really want to. Um, TRT was the only technique to be birthed out of science um, and our research. And so what they did is uh, Dr. Holder created the integrator, which fires extremely fast. It fires at one ten thousandth of a second, so it's super quick. And if you know force equals mass times acceleration, it takes away the mass component and then um, speeds up the acceleration. So it can be very gentle, very specific because it's an instrument, so you can really direct your line of drive. And um, yeah, uh, low force too. You've made it to Cairo Hustle Live. Sit back and learn from the greatest influencers in the profession. This episode is brought to you by Clothes for Cairo, Cairo Sushi, Barbara Eaton's 56 Day Chiropractic Boot Camp, California Jam, Move Well University, The Black Diamond Club, Pure Cairo Notes, The Cairo Dex App, Dr. Alok Trevetti, Cairo Spark, Cairo Graham, Chiropractic Wealth Management, Eight Weeks to Wellness, Integrative Freedom, and Element Mattresses. Let's hustle. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. It's a high amplitude, low force technique that uh, hits the, the primary, like you said, um, unwinds the subluxation pattern out of people, allowing the nervous system to flow the way it's supposed to. And that's from me being a layman, but uh, I, I've learned quite a bit about the technique over, over the past couple of years because I find a lot of people are using it because um, people that might be afraid of chiropractic, if anybody is afraid of chiropractic, which it's true, um, public perception doesn't want to have their neck uh, twisted. But, you know, we know that it's healthy for people to have proper structural alignment within their spine and their vertebrae, taking pressure off the nerve and the disc, allowing the body to heal naturally. So to me, it's just natural for me to get adjusted. But I think the TRT really breaks down uh, that that uh, that fear factor for the common person. And it's effective for all walks of life. Geriatrics, it's effective for, you know, pregnant moms. It's effective for kiddos. It's effective for all, all levels of life. Yeah. I totally agree. And then what's it, what's it all about, you know, expression of the mental impulse. So, um, you know, just removing those subluxations and getting the people to where they, where they need to be. So let, let's switch gears a little bit now and let's talk about, um, why amped and what is amped and how did you become involved with them? So amped another acronym for you. It's, uh, the advanced mentorship for entrepreneurial development. And it's, a uh, it's um, we focus on you know systems and procedures, and it's the entrepreneurial development side of everything. So to me, it's the the business aspect. It's what we're not getting in school. It's uh, you know training to, on every aspect of business and effectively communicating chiropractic to our future communities. So how, how do you how do you find time within the big? you know, structure of school and a personal life to do more? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question too. You know, it's a, it's all about priorities and keeping your priorities straight and staying focused. Um, I remember when I was a T2, so I found out about AMP T1 and then T2, I went out to Colorado over, over break. And I, I messaged uh, Michael, Vis Dr. Michael Viscarelli. I was like, hey, can I come check out your practice? I just heard like, you know, a lot of good stuff. I heard him speak. And then I, I went there. I had no idea what TRT was. I didn't know what amped offices looked like. I just, you know, I've been to like two chiropractic offices beforehand and like just thought that was that was chiropractic, but really shed some light on the like how cool chiropractic is and how, you know, if you stick to like I don't know, I just I figured that, you know, like e -STEM or like massage or everything was like kind of under this umbrella of chiropractic and like none of that was in his office. And I was like, this is, <laughs> this is exciting. This is like what I, I want to do. So what you're saying is uh, 
the type of practice that AMP runs is a non-therapeutic type practice. Absolutely, stick to the principle. And uh, the power of the adjustments enough? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it's all about uh, you know removing that nerve interference and getting your body back to the state of health and healing. That you know, the body, the power of the that made the body heals the body. And I think that's the most important thing. So now we're going to transition the interview a little bit of a future pacing, and we're going to talk a little bit about what your plans are once you finish school. Yeah, so my, my plans after I finish school is that I want to open my own practice. So I graduate in December of 2018, and I'm looking to open um, in March, you know, right after I graduate. So that's uh, kind of one of the goals I have set for myself at this point and um yeah so i don't know you have like future on down the road like five years from now what that looks like so um five years from now you know i want to hire an associate um and start my next practice my office 2.0 if you want to say <laughs> so you know just continually evolve and get chiropractic out to more and more people well, I think that's really cool, man, because my next question was going to be like, what does the chiropractic profession look like in five years to you? And you know what I see it as, if you want me to just tell you? Yeah, let's hear it. I see it as a bunch of future leaders that I'm getting a chance to interact with, stepping up big time and becoming more unified as the leaders of the future and really supporting each other. And I think that these interviews are definitely going to help band those minds together. And it's going to be something that people are going to look back on what we're doing right now is very historical. We are giving a voice to the student that's never been done before. I think that when you, we think about this, there was a, uh, you know, ideas of chiropractic students getting, being able to talk the tick and being in a competition, but really there's only one winner. And, you know, when I think about what we're doing is um, the chiropractic students from all schools are winning because now we're getting a chance to talk to you about what you're doing in school, um, how you look to the future. But I really think that the, the future is really bright, especially with uh, docs that are coming out like you, Michael, people that are going to be in a strong sense of leadership and know that you have to protect the sacred trust and know that you have to uh, continuously deliver the goods and grow the profession for the right principles. And I think that that's something that Oh yeah, I got a comment here. Uh, nice shirt. Uh, this this is from uh, my buddy Travis Corker, and he runs uh, five offices over in the Netherlands. They're called Top Chiropractic, and uh, yeah, they're they're just a top notch top notch group of chiropractors over there. I had a chance to spend some time with them uh, at, at CalJam, and uh, yeah, he gifted this to me. So I'm, I'm supporting and representing Top Chiropractic today as well. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, man, to throw the ball back into your court, um, is there anything that I didn't ask you that you'd like to talk to our audience about? Um, no, I think uh, you know we covered a lot, and um, yeah, nothing I don't know of. Well, cool. I'm gonna look over the notes real quick. We talked about after graduation. Um, we talked about what you're lacking in school. You lack. Uh, they they lack this concept of philosophy. Um, they lack this concept of teaching proper business strategies. So AMPT comes in and supplements the, the young minds with these type of principles and teaches real authentic entrepreneurship style skills. Um, and you uh, met Viscerelli at a launch group um, that was that came to Northwestern and you thought that was a really cool thing. So you joined Try One. And then uh, you're up in Northwestern from Bemidji, Minnesota. And that's where uh, uh, Paul Bunyan has a big statue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Paul and the blue ox, Paul Bunyan. Yep. So, so there, yeah, the there, we are, up there. there we are full circle with, uh, Michael Reese, um, eighth try student out of Northwestern college up in Minnesota. Um, I just want to throw a shout out to the people on the live feed with us quick. Um, and then I'm going to thank our sponsor and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll break for the day. All right. And, and then in, then in 15 minutes, I have a uh, interview with uh, the gal that started BirthFit. I think her last name is Matthews. But let's uh, say thank you to Dr. Tom Potisk, who uh, was in from uh, Wisconsin. Um, he says, uh, brave, I was scared to death. And that's back to the idea of the adjustment being a student. Um, Andy Hawkins uh, jumped in and said, two strong minds. Uh, great job, Michael and Jim. Uh, Kent 
Repologi. How do you say his last name? Kent? Do you know Kent? Michael, do you know uh, Kent? Yeah, he's or, one of the camp leaders. Or, how do you say his name? Uh, that's a great question. R E P O G. R E P L O G L E. I don't know. <laughs> but, anyways, yeah. thanks, Kent, for being on the, the live stream with us. And uh, Lisa Tack. Lisa Tacky, thank you for being on too. She's a member of the Top Chiropractic Group and yeah. uh, Dr. Uh, Adrian Laura, um, great goals. Yes, I agree. And uh, Cindy Elwartshaft Tool, thank you for joining in at the end of here. But I just want to say love and appreciate all of you. And uh, if you guys want to check out a great group of uh, other entrepreneurs that are teaching chiropractic success in business, uh, check out the Black Diamond Club. They're floating over my shoulder right there. But I just want to say, uh, <laughs> Rep. Low goal. <laughs> there oh, we go. There go. <laughs> Thanks, Kent. Thanks, Kent. Uh, but Michael, it's been a pleasure getting to know you, man. Um, if there's anything I can help you with in the future, don't hesitate. Send me a message, and I look forward to meeting you in person someday soon. Right on. Hey, thank you for all that you're doing, and thanks, thanks for having me. Keep up the great work. Cool, man. We'll we'll talk soon. All right, sounds good. All right. Thank you for listening to Cairo Hustle Live. Don't forget to subscribe and check back next week to continue hustling.